Hi, my friends. Uh, we continue to discuss about finite element analysis with the, the modal analysis after we studied static for parts by applying a force. You can see here uh, that I uh, changed the color of the uh, arrows in order to uh, uh, be sure that we cover all uh, the possible variants. Uh, when we have no red arrows here, then uh, we finished with this discussion about finite element analysis. The subject for uh, model analysis is uh, the part we already modeled in my first tutorial in this series. Having this on the screen, we go to environments, stress analysis, but now we choose not static analysis, but model analysis. The difference between these two options is that in the second one, we try to determine the dynamic behavior of this model in terms of uh, uh, its modes of vibration. We'll see immediately what means this. Again, we have to ensure that this is uh, okay. Yes, it is. This is a material. The forbidden materials are rubber and other very elastic elements which cannot be studied with the uh, finite element analysis. Then we choose to fix the part on this surface and this means that the part is uh, totally constrained. We don't need to apply force, a pressure, a moment, yes, as you will see just now. We can start simulate directly. A part with these uh, constraints has a particular behavior. As you can see here, this is the modal frequency 500 Hertz, 900 Hertz and other. We can animate to see what happens. And as you can see, the two arms of the fork are moving uh, symmetrical okay if we choose another double click on another frequency we see other behavior yes both moving the same. Okay, other one is this one. Animate, and you see that the right arm, as we look to, is a uh, uh, moving a lot okay next as you can see okay now I want to add some loads like force for instance force to this face 
hover say one two three Newton and to see what happens we have to recreate the simulation now if I go to the last uh, model frequency we see nothing but the same movement so uh, this kind of load uh, is uh, used uh, to combine the model frequency with the uh, uh, other stress applied to the part but this is uh, more subtle uh, than uh, we want here to present the same is uh, pressure we can apply a pressure say here of uh, some value okay simulate again you see nothing is due to uh, these forces apparently nothing but uh, if you uh, uh, want you can find the possibilities same is uh, a moment we apply a moment like so of uh, 25 uh, Newton millimeter yes this is the unit okay simulate run the same frequency to be the same situation if I if I uh, suppress this loads all three suppress when I simulate again and I choose the fourth model frequency we see the same movement the same displacement to finish uh, we see all uh, the modal frequency uh, behavior um, selecting the other frequencies for instance F5 uh, 190 uh, Hertz is this one what is this an interesting movement <laughs> look at it another one is uh, pretty the same but a change is visible look here now we go from 2000 Hertz to 3000 and half these all are uh, um, proper frequencies of the part yes you see when you increase the frequency these are the effects very interesting an engineer must uh, know all these things for sure 
the last one at the same approximately the same frequency is this one okay that's all for today and uh, I wish you a good time and bye bye